the leather-clad rock and roll queen Susie Quattro there with her 1973 hit Can the Can. Last year Susie announced that she was done with touring but thankfully <laughs> she's changed her mind and she is coming back to Australia but, next year. Thank God for that. The tour is called Leather Forever. Tickets go on sale today and we're pleased to have Susie Quattro with us now. Welcome to the show Susie. Thank you, it's nice to be here. Now, before we get to the tour, I want to ask you about one of your biggest mu musical influences, which is, of course, the King, Elvis Presley. Do you remember the first time you saw him perform? Yeah, I've actually had a whole life of Elvis epiphanies, you know, that it's just too long to go on on one show. But, uh, yeah, um, the, the short version is I was watching TV with my family in Detroit, the Ed Sullivan Show, and Elvis Presley came on and did Don't Be Cruel, and the older one was screaming, and I was like watching and I had the epiphany, the epiphany at six years old that I was going to do what he was doing. And I know that's crazy, but that's the truth. At the start of your career, Susie, there weren't many other women in rock and roll, especially not fronting a band. People say that you're a trailblazer. How do you feel about the title? I didn't see myself as a pioneer when I was starting out. I just saw myself as doing what was natural to me. But then when I got success, and I started to look back on it. Then I thought, oh, okay. But all I really wanted to do my whole life was just remain true to myself, and that's what I've done. I didn't know it was so different. I just knew that I wasn't these various things. You know, I wasn't that kind of girl, wasn't that kind of girl, wasn't that kind of girl. Here's what I am. I'm going to stick to this and hopefully be successful. We were just listening to some of the legendary song, Can the Can. There, a song that you've been singing for 43 years. Does its meaning change for you over time? No. You know, I don't understand artists who say, oh, I can't sing that hit anymore. Why? What's the matter with you, you idiot, you know? I mean, you go out there and you're broom, do -doom, do -doom. the audience erupts. How can you not like it? How? Doesn't make sense to me. I love doing my hits. Well, we love hearing them. Good. Because you're going to hear them again. <laughs> so, Susie, last year you announced that you weren't going to tour again, and we're glad you've changed your mind. Sure. Are you planning on challenging John Farnham on the amount of farewell tours that you can do? You know, it was only ever, people, I don't want people to get that wrong, it was only ever designated as the final Australian tour because it was my 31st tour. I'd had my 50th year in the business, and I kind of thought, great, what a good idea, do it this way and give the Australians something special for their loyalty through the years. Um, and I really did think it was the last one, but it just, God, how many emails I had, how many people saying, why have you done this? And then you start to get emotionally involved, you know, and. And I guess I'm not done yet. I guess you just have to keep putting up with me. <laughs> leather has become your trademark over the years, so it's no surprise you've called the tour Leather Forever. Um, how did your love of this material first begin? I think it was seeing uh, Elvis on his comeback special, because, you know, being such a huge fan. And then he had that, and I, lo and I thought, aha. So not only did I have my epiphany at six, but when I saw that outfit, I thought, that's me. That's me. I, I got my leather jacket the next day. And I've, been, I've got leather on, I've been wearing leather ever since. It suits me. Well, speaking of leather, you had a standout recurring role in Happy Days as Leather Tuscadero. Let's have a reminder. You gotta hold it. I know you're gonna be Terrifioso on the road. Thanks, Fonz. Milwaukee. You were offered your own spin-off series based around did, that character. I did, but Why did you turn it down? Because I didn't want to get typecast as nothing else but Leather Tuscadero. I want I had my mind on doing more different kinds of roles and this and that and this and that. And I'd done three years in Happy Days and I thought that was enough, you know. And I've done many different kinds of roles, so I've had, had a very I've had a varied career. Susie, great having you on here. Her tour, Leather Forever, is coming to Australia next year. Tickets are on sale today. All details are at susiequattro.com.au. Great to have you on the show, Susie. My pleasure. Thank you so much. She goes off too. Yeah. Goes off.